was very like, yeah, I had two parents who read constantly. And uh, I think, I and actually I think that's everybody I know who's writing mm -hmm. now. They just love books. Um, and then actually when I was in college, I majored in yeah. theater arts. And when I got out of college, I did some dinner theater, some backup work, some commercials. I got a super commercial that my dog was in and got paid more than me. Um, cool. And then when we had, uh, actually when we had the child who just had the child, <laughs> I started staying home because it was actually far more expensive to go to work than it was to stay home. And that was when I started uh, trying to write mm -hmm. or writing, I guess if we're writing, we're actually doing it, but um, trying to write for publication. Right. And I started sending things off all over the place. First two things I sold were actually short horror stories to mm -hmm. Black Cat Magazine and Twilight Magazine. And then I sold my first book to Dell. Well, I mean, first of all, Possibly going along with the um, what the the theme of this book actually is I stayed with a great grandmother frequently when I was young who um, was just full of all the old legends and she could tell the best stories I've ever heard. But she also had a way with us of um, when uh, if she thought that my sister and I were misbehaving or a couple of my cousins who might be around at the time. She would always threaten us with, uh, if, uh, if we weren't behaving, the banshees be getting us in the outhouse. And it was kind of like she did it so well. Um, we were like 17 and 18, 19 when we figured out, wow, we didn't even have an outhouse, but she managed to make that threat work. But they, she was just, um, oh, that's so funny. I think a whole family. They were a great mm -hmm. family for storytelling. And they usually had some type of a ghost or supernatural character in it. Mm -hmm. and then there were Hammer Films. I love Hammer Films. Moment um, I was incredibly lucky to go on a USO tour with uh, international thriller writers, and the, oh, wow. we went to see we went mm -hmm. to see servicemen at Walter Reed, and we went to a military hospital at Romstadt, and we went to Kuwait and a lot of other places. And I think wow. the joy that many people had just to have. People caring, you know, people there to try to uh, either bring them books, give them books, or uh, the one hospital room we went into, there was a young man waiting for us who wanted to be an author, and so he was waiting to speak with us. And I, I don't think I've, I've ever felt happier about what I do than when oh, I was wow. able to kind of at least give a little drop of something to someone who's done so much for us.